This, may, this is either bike ride number six or number seven, depending on how we decide to split them up. That's the thing about, you know, the internet and doing this stuff, isn't it? It doesn't, you know, I'm used to a world of meticulous timing and planning and scripting. And this is the internet where you can do any old... You can ride off in the middle of a shot and... Uh, there's a, it's the Wellington Barracks. Got there's a, there's a um, armoured car there. I should know what type of armoured car. It's a Daimler, I think. Daimler armoured car. I spend my, one of my hobbies is looking at books of pictures of armoured cars and tanks. So I should know. And we won't get into that now. Maybe later we'll talk about that. Here we are around the back of... Is this the back of Downing Street? I'm not sure. The other side of... Is this St. James's Park? I think this is. Cheat. Man on the scooter there walking his dog. I mean, that's fucking. That's that's unethical, isn't it? Really. You know, dogs doing dogs doing all the work. You're just riding around on your bleeding electric scooter. I think that's immoral. Frankly, I don't. I don't come down hard. I don't take a moral position often, but I think that's wrong. Put in a fucking effort, mate. Don't walk your dog on an electric scooter. It's profoundly wrong. Uh, green light. Let's uh, speed up. So we get through these lights. And, of course, ahead of us is, the ours is a parliament. The ours is in a lovely, the home of democracy. The ours is a parliament. Oh, big, Bill, big Ben there, the ours. Go, blimey. The old ours is parliament. I've been there a few times, obviously. Uh, it's political events. Amazingly shabby. Extraordinarily shabby. Tatty. And uh, and it cost us eight billion pounds to do up. Turn it into a hotel, I say. There's a horse guard on his horse, two horse guards on their horses. Look at the GGs, look at the, you see this, what have they got there? They're current Koch MP7s, I think. A lot of horses about today. Is that like, I'm motorbike police. Uh, it's not, not like mice and stuff that are more of them breeding in the lockdown. Maybe there's more horses as well like a horses. So that's the question. British police, they still most site police, still ride BMWs, German bikes. And we've got a perfectly good, uh, you know, one of the few British success stories, I think, in terms of the motor industry is <sighs> Triumph motorcycles. Excellent, excellent motorcycle. And yet coppers seem wedded to BMWs. What's that about? Any uh, police want to get in touch? Let me know what that's all about. I always say, always, always BIM. It's never, I've never seen police ride the Triumph, and you think that would be one area where, you know, kind of practical patriotism would make sense. 
Uh, that's the empty plinth there with the uh, giant um, ice cream cone and uh, a drone stuck in it. I think that was a green light, however. The... Nobody else has come with me, but it seems all right. Round Trafalgar Square. Lions by Sherwood Lancia. Lions. Turning left into Charing Cross Road, edge of Chinatown in a second. Also, dead as a doubt. Actually, we might go through if the battery holds out. Let's, uh, let's take a little diversion through um, Soho. See how dead that's looking. See, advertised there at the Gary Theatre is Death Drop, a hilarious new Dragatha Christie murder mystery. So you got to, the fact that that is not going ahead. You got to say there are some good things to, to, to good outcomes from the pandemic. The fact that. Death drop and you drag us a Christie murder is not happening at the moment. Is a good thing. Angus Steakhouse. Terrible, terrible places. Sometimes I like to, I just like to bang on the window. A tourist sitting in the eating in those angers they go no no get out run while well, they eat their frozen peas and low grade steak haven't been looking out for fall haven crank cranken for fall to haven cranken uh bags that there uh, these spaces are actually just for cyclists that motorcyclist shouldn't really be in the space it's actually six points on your license although they never it's not for motorbikes it's for bicycles but I don't know I don't I don't begrudge him it really. All right, just to we do a quick detour. Let's go through perhaps uh, the most tragic part of London that I know at the moment during lockdown, which is Soho. Once the buzzing, sclerotic, slightly malfunctioning heart of London the diseased heart of London is at the moment dead really dead or dying nothing going on at all and this is old Compton Street the uh, heart of gay London again nothing happening Tesla for some reason driving down the street don't know why few people few people but fuck all really going on and this is this is the ruins of, of my life really this was this was where I made my name as a comedian this is where I staged my comeback as a comedian at the Soho Theatre and it's all at the moment dead it's a bit of a bummer it's a bit odd isn't it a bit strange a bit odd I'll turn right on Ward or Street. Uh, there's an Italian deli here, which I think is still open. Camisas. I remember when I was a student in London in the 70s, 1971, I would come here and buy pasta and uh, I didn't know how to cook and would then lose off the back of my bicycle. That made me feel, I don't know.
This could be a comedy sketch. Bill didn't work with a big plank. No, nope. uh, we avoided this. We avoided this. So we're going north on Wardour Street, formerly the heart of the British film industry. We just passed Main Street, where is where the comedy store was, where my career began. We can, well, maybe we'll do a alternative comedy bike tour at some point. Again, see what's left. Uh, now picking up speed. Going up Wardour Street. Heading for Oxford Street. Going along, rolling along. Just enjoy the enjoy the speed. Enjoy the silence. See, I can still do it. I can still still get a wriggle on there. Oh, so brief. Could go so brief. Not going to stop there. I'm going to turn right on Oxford Street. I haven't been here for a few months. Again, why would you? Pretty dead. Oh, don't like that coat. I think he knew I didn't like that coat. I think he did. It's tense my disapproval. United Colours of Ben Elton. <laughs> Oh, that's what I was talking about. So, um, you know, this could perhaps serve as a, uh, also a safety thing. Now, look at this. So here we are, we're behind a, an articulated uh, flatbed uh, truck. He's indicating he's turning left. Now, we could possibly squeeze up and get past him on the left or the right, but, you know, how valuable is our time? Not really. And uh, yeah, most people are, most cyclists, more cyclists are killed by trucks turning left across their path than any other uh, form of transport. So, a huge hole in the road there. It's also a deadly sign. Uh, but yeah, never, I would say, stay off the back of buses, trucks. Don't think that, uh, you know, truck, also at roundabouts and what have you. Don't feel that. You need to, you know, you're in such a hurry that you've got to get, you've got to try and outpace them, really, because you're going to come off worse. So I would say stay just off the back, the left-hand side of uh, large vehicles so they can see you in there mirrors it's important to be visual visible you know so I often you know to be do something out of the ordinary so I often when I go out cycling to be visible I often dress as the Pope or as a parakeet because let's face it if you're dressed as a parakeet or the Pope or Stalin or a badger a truck driver is going to, it's only the most out of it, one-eyed tipper driver who is not going to notice a, a badger on a bicycle, isn't it? Because that badger costume could save your life. So remember, be seen. Dress as a badger on your bike. Her chain's too rusty. I don't know if you can see it really, she needs to give it some lubrication. Now we're going to end this leg of our journey. On our left we're coming up to St George's Bloomsbury, Hawksmoor Church. 
uh, paid for by the coal tax from the coal churches it's called strange strange ziggurat spire anyway i think my co-pilot is should be waiting for me all right so he's down there for some reason i don't know why the fuck he's gone down there uh, i will this is actually the museum of comedy the in the crypt here this is where i do uh tryouts i did tryouts for my last stand-up comedy tour was in the crypt that just lovely little club so i'm very choosy me i don't you know i'm not somebody who, i'm 68 i'm not somebody who can perform anywhere i really like the museum of comedy usually so if i'm you know putting the tour together i'll do three or four weeks here he is here's the boy here's my oppo here's the lad so that's it museum of comedy lockdown bike ride number six or seven we've seen some shit we've talked about some shit done some shit join me next time when we do some more shit man yeah